Happy Friday, everyone. Isaiah 45, 18, we read, For the Lord is God, and he created the heavens and earth and put everything in place. He made the world to be lived in, not to be a place of empty chaos. I am the Lord, he says, and there is no other. You know, in this verse, what we're talking about is something that theologians refer to as the unitas day, the unity of God. And Francis Pieper writes this, God is in a class by himself. Every creature has at least something in common with other creatures and exists in duplicate, triplicate, or multiple form. There can be no other God besides God, however. He goes on to say that God is not unus genera, nor unus specie, but unus numero. I love that. Unus numero. God is one. There is no other higher than him. And that's a great reason why we worship him this weekend. We worship him for who he is. And I pray that as you go into this weekend, your thoughts would be focused on that one true God, knowing there is no one higher than him. And here's what's most important about that. Since there's no one higher, no higher authority than him, he is the one who has the final word on you. And what he says about you is that he loves you. And he shows you that through his son, Jesus. We can celebrate that there is none higher also because of his grace and mercy shown to us through Jesus. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you and we celebrate and worship who you are. There is no God higher than you. We worship you, we adore you, we celebrate you, and we give you thanks that in your final authority and judgment, you look down upon us with mercy and you gave to us that mercy through your son, Jesus. Help us to live confidently in that and to not only be in worship for you, for your greatness, but also for your graciousness. We thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing and all that is still ahead. We give you thanks for all of it, for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.